Hello everyone, today I've got a VAT tip for you. So this is um, in the situation where you might have thought that you could not claim back any input VAT, which uh, from what I'm going to tell you, you can actually claim some input VAT back. So the scenario is as follows. Assume you have a, uh, a husband and wife and they are in a partnership together. So they have a trading business. Um, could be doing anything, manufacturing, selling widgets, whatever it is. Husband and wife in partnership, VAT registered. Um, and then they also decide they are going to buy a property to let out. So a buy to let property in their joint names. Now, as far as VAT is concerned, because they already have a VAT number, and a VAT registered, even though the letting out of the property has nothing to do with their uh, widget making business as far as VAT concerned there is a VAT implication and VAT does need to be considered however in this case it is good news because VAT on residential property rentals is exempt from VAT which means you don't have to charge VAT on the rents or when you sell the property, there's no VAT on the sales price. So the, the normal rules are when we're making an exempt supply of something, we cannot claim any VAT on the input VAT, on the associated costs. Because we're making an exempt supply, we cannot claim VAT back in any costs unless it's the so-called de minimis amount of VAT, which works out at about £7,500 a year so husband and wife probably had no idea when they bought the investment property and let's say it needed doing up and a few tens of thousand pounds spent on it before they could let it out they probably had no idea that they could claim back VAT on the builders invoice because the property business is in their minds not VAT registered it's got nothing to do with their other business but what I'm saying to you is it has it's all linked but thankfully, that's a good thing because, because it will be linked to their existing business. They can therefore take advantage of the so-called de minimis rules. And if the VAT is of a certain amount on the builder's supplies to them, they can claim that back through uh, the VAT returns that they would do in the, the regular business. So that's a, a real uh, uh, cute tip there for anyone who has a VAT number, they are in business, and they are then thinking about also having buy-to-let properties, residential properties, because you can claim some of the VAT back on the property costs that you might not have intuitively thought you can because it's got nothing to do with your existing VAT registered business. So that's just a quick uh, tip on claiming VAT back, exempt input VAT under the so-called de minimis rules. If it's not too much, you can claim it back. So if you like this video, please subscribe here and I will see you soon.